This is a thing. What kind of thing is it? It is a cheap thing. It makes dumb things into smart things by being a clever thing. It is a local thing. Uh, I'm gonna stop doing that voice so that you can stop pressing the dislike button and leaving. Uh, the Sonoff Basic has actually been around for a very long time now and quickly became a staple of the smart home community because, well, of all those things I just said. Uh, it makes your dumb things smart, and that's brilliant. Its original intention was that it would connect to a server in China so that you could control it using your mobile phone or your Google Home or your she that should not be named across the internet, which is absolutely ingenious. But a few people said, hmm, Donald Trump says the Chinese are not secure and I do not like that. Uh, or they said, my internet connection is sporadic and rubbish, and sporadic is a big word. Uh, so that being the case, this wasn't perfect for everybody. And what those people did was, they got their soldering irons out. Uh, which terrifies me because I'm not a real man. And what they did with those soldering irons was they connected the little device to their computer and they flashed it with something called Tasmota. Uh, Tasmota is some customised firmware that allows this thing to be controlled on the local area network without the internet connection, which is absolutely ingenious. But I'm afraid of the soldering iron. Uh, so what Sonoff have done recently, they've said, hmm, okay, we'll just let you do it. Uh, so Sonoff have given up and they've said, you know what, if you want to be able to have a DIY mode, we'll just give you a DIY mode. And that's what this thing is. It's the old Sonoff Basic, but with a DIY mode. And the DIY mode means that you can flash Tasmota over your Wi-Fi connection. This thing is as safe as you are intelligent. So... If you're an idiot, you're going to kill yourself. This is not a toy, and you are plugging it directly into your mains. Uh, that said, it really is as simple as disconnecting two cables from your existing switch and plugging them back into this one. Well, it's not complicated. Uh, if you're planning to stick this in your wall and connect it to your mains light switch, that's a different matter, and you should probably get an electrician. Uh, if you want to find one, there's one in my comments section at least one, telling me I shouldn't give electrical advice, I'm not qualified, I hate you, um, I hate you too, leave me alone. This device has two modes. The first one is standard mode, and that allows you to control your dumb device using the Chinese server. Uh, the second one is DIY mode. DIY mode allows you to put Tasmota firmware on the device, simply by putting on a jumper. I don't want this video to go on forever, so I'm going to walk you through the instructions on how to put Tasmota on this thing very, very quickly. Uh, if you have managed to keep up and haven't needed to pause the video at any point, let me know in the comments that you've got a big old brain, and I'll do this. Step 1. Download this crap from the video description to a wireless Windows PC such as a laptop. Step 2. Follow the usual procedure to connect the Sonoff device to the EWILink server so that you can make sure you've got the latest firmware. You need version 3.1.0 onwards. If it's earlier than that, it will not work. Step 3. Power off the Sonoff device. Step 4. Put the jumper in the correct place for DIY mode by bridging the two pins. Step 5. Connect your laptop and the device to each other by using the following method. Create a mobile hotspot on your mobile phone using the AP name Sonoff DIY with a capital D. The password needs to be 2017-0618-SN in lowercase letters. When you now power the Sonoff back on, your Sonoff will automatically connect to your mobile phone. You'll know this has worked because your mobile phone will tell you. Connect your laptop to the same hotspot as you did the Sonoff device. Open the Sonoff tool on your laptop from the stuff you downloaded before. Use the Sonoff tool to upload the Tasmota bin file that you downloaded to the Sonoff device. Congratulations, you now have a Tasmota device, but the Tasmota device is not connected to your Wi-Fi network yet. 
You can access the Tasmota device by connecting to its Wi-Fi network, in my case Sonoff 3012, where you can then start to make changes to the Tasmota device to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. You can now access your Tasmota device from any computer on your local area network to make changes to its configuration. You'll need to find out what its IP address is to access it, and you can do this by using a program called Fing on your mobile phone, uh, or by looking in your router's configuration pages to see uh, what IP addresses are connected to what devices. That's it! Tasmota is on your device. Um, it by default enables the HTTP server, so you can control this thing using HTTP commands, which is awesome. Uh, if you want to be a big nerd about it, you can control it with MQTT instead. You just go into the device's configuration and enable the MQTT information, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, there's more information in the description if you want to know how to do the whole HTTP or MQTT stuff. If you want to buy some of these things, go buy a hundred of them. Uh, there are links in the description also to where you can purchase these things from either Sonoff directly or hopefully Amazon, and then I can get a cut of the money. Giving this video a thumbs up will tell YouTube it was a good video and more people should see it, and their algorithms will make sure more people see it. I would appreciate that. Uh, if you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. If you really want to see some more of this guy, ring the bell. Uh, ringing the bell will give you notifications when I upload videos. Um, if you want to make these videos a possibility, these amazing people are my patrons, and you can come and become one of these guys at either Patreon, or give me a one-off beer at PayPal, and I will absolutely love you forever. Uh, finally, you can come and hang out with me and be my bestest friend in the world at Facebooks and Twitters and Instagrams, and that's it. I shall see you next time. What kind of thing is it? Is it is it cheap? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? What kind of thing is it? It is a cheap thing. It is a dumb thing. I don't know what I'm saying. People want to have security. Security. Why do I make these voices? That's very strange. Um, so don't kill yourself, idiot. <laughs> nice, easy.